So the Acolyte episode four. This is gonna be my quick review on this episode as not a lot really happened in this episode. It was a very short episode, the shortest episode by far, kind of bringing those past rumors of these only being 30 minute episodes to light. Obviously the first three were not that length, but this one coming in around that 30 minute mark without the credits, about 35, 36 with the credits. Unfortunately, a quick episode, but if any episode is going to be the fast episode, I would rather it be this one where again, nothing really happened. It was a lot of traveling, a lot of getting to where this Wookiee Jedi is taking refuge, where he's posted by the Jedi. He's been missing now to believe about a year now. The Jedi believes that he is going to be the next one to be killed by May. Osha comes along because Sol feels that she can kind of bring May back. And of course, Osha is a little hesitant of this, but she does still feel that there is good in May and that she saw that there is alongside Sol, saying there was a softness to her eyes when May saw Osha. Now again, a lot of this episode, walking, talking, kind of making their way to the planet, then through the planet to get to this kind of base that the Wookiee Jedi has himself set up at. A lot of talk amongst the Jedi. There was a lot of Jedi in this episode, which was kind of my main takeaway from it. It was cool to see all of them in that one room where they were meeting, talking about potentially there's maybe something bigger at play, something bigger than May just going rogue and killing Jedi out of nowhere. There has to be a greater evil to this. And then seeing all the Jedi in the room kind of traveling through this beautiful landscape felt very nice it felt very high republic so i assume this is the high republic vibe we're going to be getting that i so badly wanted to see in live action i'm not really a fan of the high republic novels i haven't read any of them i've heard snippets i kind of know the general consensus but a new era in live action was very intriguing to me and if this is kind of the look and tone they're going with it, I like it so far. Those are the few key points that I kind of wanted to hit on for what I liked about the episode. I thought overall it was a very good episode. It was unfortunately, again, very short, so not much happened, but the visuals were great. You know, continuing the story along was good and setting up for next episode, which is always a little disappointing when we don't see much happening, much action or anything but it did push the story along. They are where they need to be now, and it set them up for this confrontation with the dark side user, showing them the red lightsaber, kind of that person who we now know is a him coming face to face, Osha, the Jedi seeing him, drawing their lightsabers, and you know, of course, getting thrown back by his really intense force push, which was a very cool visual to see. Again, overall, really good episode. I don't have any issues with this episode, besides a few just minor tweaks that I'm not going to get into due to the sake of, I don't want this video to be a third of the length of the episode, just talking about my minor gripes that I can look past. But yeah, I did like this episode. If I was to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it a solid, probably an eight out of 10, and probably my second favorite episode after the premiere episode one. Gave us a lot of good Jedi content, a lot to look forward to, and hopefully episode five will be that banger that we need. This week's episode is definitely a step up from last week's, kind of cringe fest with the witches, a lot of divisive content within the fandom. So this was a fresh, good episode to kind of back that up. And again, hopefully episode five gives us some good action between the Sith, or I guess the dark side user and the Jedi. Hopefully we get some information about who this character is, how they came about May, and how the Jedi are going to go about this if they do it all, if they don't all meet their demise to this red lightsaber. But yeah, again, I was really impressed with the episode. Nothing crazy, but also nothing bad. Again, a solid 8 out of 10. I'm really excited to see what comes in next week's episode, but I am done with my thoughts for now. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this episode down in the comments below. Did you like it? Why or why not? Also, while you're at it, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.